orange public works truck stopped in its tracks. Salvatore Fedoni working to keep city streets maintained when he's hit by a car. He was going to go move the truck is what he was going to do to move it forward to actually do more work and, and that's when he got hit. Ten days later, his family and his work family say goodbye. Fedoni passed away Friday. It's a very, very difficult time for the city of Omaha today and for Mr. Fedoni's co-workers in the street maintenance division who come to work every day to provide important service to everyone who uses our city streets. The city's preliminary investigation shows public works crews followed correct federal and state work zone safety protocol. Safety vests on, emergency lights on, two vehicles on the road protecting the workers. Fedoni and his crew went through safety training last year. We do our best to keep them safe, and uh, I know they do their best to keep each other safe when they're out on that, that job scene, too. Interestingly enough, was, was always, you know, really reminding his other crew members to be safe on a job site. Police say the driver drifted over the center line and hit Fedoni. They're still investigating, and the county attorney will decide whether or not to press charges. The city is offering counseling to employees, especially for those on Fedoni's crew that day. There's a, a lot of employees within public works that are grieving because they've lost a co-worker. He was recognized as a, a likable, hardworking individual, and uh, we certainly lament his loss. Mm -hmm. The Fedoni family thank the community for all the love and support and release this statement tonight. Although Sal is no longer with us, he made the choice to extend the lives of others by donating his organs to those in critical need of transplants. We are honored that a small piece of him will allow other families more time together. Now, Fedoni was also an organ donor in life. A few years back, he gave one of his own kidneys to his own brother to save his brother's life. There is a GoFundMe page set up for the Fedoni family during this time. You can find that on our website, KETV.com. Reporting live, Michelle Bandur, KETV Newswatch 7.